Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play. I am scared of girls. I'm your commenter Drakiel. And before we begin, I'd like to explain how this game is very different. It's said to be roguelike, but yet it isn't. Yet it is. It's very strange. But anyways, let us continue by clicking the start button. We will be playing on the normal setting, so we get more of everything. Where am I? The television suddenly shows a clear picture. You have died. There is no path but forward. But you were followed. To be reborn, you must cut the ties to your former life. Or remain here. Our hearts weep for your fates. Click. It's a knife. Even if I am not dead, I am dead. I'll need it. Teleportation, I'm Goku. No, we don't need no setting like that. We know what to do. This gives you health. Or this changes your color and gives you health. I have done this a few times. I have done this a few times. Okay. Let us, well, you, damn ants, okay, let us continue, <laughs> sorry about that, cuts the rope, it started when I was kicked out, or ran away, the difference was slim, because as soon as I disappeared, I was told to never come back, it was also the day the climate broke, this town became a rain zone, with constant cloud, cover, and rain. I was standing in it outside, without an umbrella. All of my clothes, papers, and everything got soaked, officially. It was supposed to be a normal day, but I did something stupid. I've cross-dressed for ages. I have the body and face for it. Something about a hormone imbalance, but either way, after days of trying out clothes, I was found out. Everyone in my house freaked. I was already in trouble, but this gave them another excuse to rip me a new one. After I was slapped around by my parents, I went for a kitchen knife. They instantly called the police, and I bolted. I ran upstairs, packed what I could, which happened to be the girl's clothing already in the, my bag, my cell phone, and a knife. And now here I am, soaked. You could probably see my boy parts if you looked hard enough. I've got to go somewhere. I guess I'll just try to find shelter. And we're here! Let's go teleport again! Jump! <sighs> yay! Yay, we're back! Yes, now let's continue to find more little red dot thingies, gems, whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. Anyways, yeah, to go back up, you hit enter or space. To go down, you just click over it. Anyways, we will be going this way to this little thing. Let us cut this rope now. When I was younger, there was this well outside my old house in the country. It wasn't special, but one day I heard it gasp. Not being as paranoid, and maybe a little stupid, I walked up to it and heard it gasp again. But this time, I heard a word, too. Son. So I talked to the well. Is there something wrong? Another gasp. Too much. Huh? Gasp. Too much sun. Want me to cover you up? Please. So I found a lid for this small well, dragging it with my frail legs and slamming it on top of the mouth of the well. Later that day, my father patted me on the head and said, I'd done good. 
Yeah! My daddy was like, you did good! Now let's dance. And I was like, okay. So yeah. Here we go. We're going this way. Doo doo douche. Doo doo. I'm a douche. <laughs> uh, wait. This song. It's Eric Sadden. Ah, oh, oh, what a wonderful piece. Oh, God. I'm practicing this piece. It's amazing. Anyways, we're just gonna, um... Yeah. <laughs> My emotions suddenly became... Ah, <laughs> because of this. Anyways, let's, what's this way? The number 10 is scratched onto this giant ruby. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't go that way until I get 10? What about this door, huh? Oh, look, I can do it. Oh, what'd I do? Where am I? Ah, uh, ah, uh, what did I just do? Oh no. I did something, didn't I? Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. What's this way? Okay. Got health, health. Oh, uh, what the hell? Different settings, what the hell? Uh oh. Okay, only way you can attack is if you look at them. To the left and right. If they're in front of you, I mean, if they're on top of you or below you, you can't uh, hit them. So thus, they have the advantage. And I'm about to die, so let's try to kill this guy really quickly. There we go. This little Oreo-looking motherfucker is gonna kill me! No! Uh, stay away! Ah, uh, mysterious voice. There is no good. You must brave the unhappy place. Okay. Nice little song. Let us continue to the unhappy place. Oh! We start over. Anyways, yeah, let us continue. By starting all over. Eh. Yes. If I if this does happen, I'll just edit to the next part so that um, you guys don't have to keep watching this and stuff. So, yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Sorry you saw that for a little bit, but welcome back. And let us continue. Instead of going down that way, we're going to go this way. So, yeah. Let's see what's down in this box over here. Nothing. What about this box over here? I'm robotic again. Let's take the robotic look. I think robotic look gives us better attack or something like that. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. Haha. -ha. I killed you. Come on. Come on. Up here. Up here, guy. Why not? What the hell? What the hell? Haha. -ha. I got you now. Haha. Uh -huh. Hiya. Let's take the black one and let's take the red one. Eat that. Continue downwards. And there's more of them. Great. So that's exactly what I wanted to see. Oh, did I attack that guy downwards? I thought you couldn't attack downwards. Maybe it was just edited. I'm about to die. There is no place you must brave. And now I'm here. My weird. Okay, okay. This looks like a happy fun place. Yay, look, see that's a party sign. And what does this guy have to say? Hey, come on in. We're pretty chill here. Don't you usually try and devour me? For one, that's the top level crazies who the television guy pays. And two, they're just trying to extract your life force slowly and preferably through semen. Okay, I'll just go in. Enjoy. Okay. Let's have a little chat with everyone. You have one obsidian. Oh, thank you. Thank you for telling me. Let's talk to this girl. Hi there, I'm Angelica. We can talk for a while, or I can help you out. Okay, let's talk first. I see you're still wearing girls' clothing. At least it still suits you. But how did you end up here? But how did you end up here? Sorry. I don't quite remember, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Now that we're both dead, you, can you can't really say that sucks or anything. I mean, I'm like totally painless now. I suppose you're right. I wish I felt that way, though. Just, um... Forget about the pain, then? I'll try that. Talk to. Bleep, bleep. Bleep, 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 bleep. Okay, let's talk to Mr. Coffee. Coffee, coffee. I, I gotta stop this. Coffee, coffee, caffeine, coffee. No, 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 that sounds wrong. That sounds wrong. Okay, I, I meant Mr. Coffee, because you're holding a coffee cup. I didn't really think <laughs> you were gonna go crazy. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this guy. People are awful needy here. Find me three sapphires! 
kind of bipolar. All right, I'll see what I can do, but why? I really need to get this weird key out of my system. I got, I got problems, all right? Okay, let's talk to this guy. Hey there, girl. Oh, wait, uh, got guy, uh, to... e either way. Inside me, I got this weird door. Check it out. Uh, sure, why the hell not? Whoa, holy shit, this is scary. I probably should not have done this. What's this say? The words big key are scratched into the sapphire. Okay. Let's go through the door? Can't go through the door. Okay, let's continue. Hope that wasn't too uncomfortable, man. See ya. Okay. Um, let's take this red crystal now. Alright, cut it open. I slipped. The complication with having balance is that sometimes you don't have balance. And you fall on your ass while waiting for the pain to sting. This time it was different though. There wasn't a sting. There was a whiff of air. The last few months had been so fucked up that the cool air waving through my dress and my hair felt like the sky was cradling me. In the back of my head, a voice was talking. You are going deeper. Like I was being hypnotized into sleep. My ego died, and I fell under, hearing only a brief thud as I pull ripped dully. Ripped dully through my chest upon landing. Dully. I can't say dully. Sorry about that. And we're back! Hey, look, we're here. Yay, we escaped Hellhole. We're not going back in there. But you know what? We're not going to go anywhere. In fact, we're going to save it right here. I think. Yeah, let's save it. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, the next part of this will be coming up soon. Thank you. Have a good day, and make sure to always stay calm under any situation, especially when you're dead, like this girl, guy. Yeah. See ya.